Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. We got a runner, we got a track star, and we're back for another segment of Why are You Telling My Business? Don't be telling my business. Well, I can, can, and I can, can, and, and I will. Alright? Child Fallon dropped some news in 2021 and I never really got a chance to talk with the family about it. You know, I was just holding on to it, thinking it would get better. You know, maybe people stop talking about it, but they're not. They're easing up on the gas and pressing the gas for 2022. So I thought I'd say, hey, let me just invite my family over and let's get this talk on out and see what they feel about the situation. Now, you know, women have always been called garden tools, sluts, gold diggers, just everything. But men would normally be the ones we would call dogs, canines, you know, anything we could try to hurt them with. But, you know, with Snoop Dogg being out of stuff and making being a dog famous, it really don't even hurt them anymore. But it does hurt when a man calls a woman a dog, okay, and not in a good way. I mean, it's like the bow wow wow yippee yo yippee a type situation. Like <coughs> you really look like a dog. Not that you're acting like a dog, but you look like a dog. And it depends on what kind of dog we're talking about, cause they got some cute dogs out here too. Now I have heard, I think it was T.S. Madison had brought it out when I was following her a lot back in the day, that um, Portia looked like a pretty pony. And she really do. She's she, you know, not a pony per se, but that was just an endearing way how T.S. Madison was saying Portia looked, you know, gorgeous and stuff like that. Like a really dressed up, really nice, nice pony. But anyway, Fallon and all her little tea she was throwing out on Tisa Tales. If y'all don't know who that is, she's a um, Californian, I think, blogger youtuber and she goes on a lot of array, uh, array of other things uh check out her portfolio she makes me laugh she's a comedian and she loves her avatar but we've all seen her we know what she looks like but i'm pretty sure like most people we don't want to get up all the time but hell i never want to get dressed up uh put on makeup and entertain y'all for how long and then go to have to take off all that mess no no i say that for special occasions <coughs> But anyway, I've been under the weather, so I ain't really trying to do nothing. I'm just in my drawers on a big t-shirt, and I'm just trying to share the love and the laughter. Because that's what we need more of while we're trying to recuperate from whatever illness we have found ourselves upon us, okay? And I'm still waiting for my test results. But anyway, said that to say this. Y'all, Fallon, in one of her conversations she was having over on Tisa Tales when Tisa was interviewing her about the comings and goings of her past um, husband's relationship and how everything, you know, kind of let itself uh, dissolve away into nothing. But she came over and came with an interesting concept of letting us know that her ex husband called Portia Williams a dog. And I'm like, a dog and of course you know i just went in attack mode and started thinking about him and you know what people were trying to say don't be talking about people looks because sometimes they can't help it and that's true you know it just is beauty is in the eye of the beholder the creator and all that kind of stuff i know i know i know but so when you start calling names then that makes me want to call you some names and we go back to him being looking like a gremlin again if y'all ain't never seen that gremlins one and two movie go check it out and in some of his um what do you call it uh videos or snapshots they took at him took of him he do look like a gremlin i don't care what nobody say and the portrait that they try to give us what satan probably looks like you know in the evil uh ferocious uh, uh distractful way you know that one with the brim brimming fire behind and red and black and all that kind of stuff all right <sighs> but we all know Satan was an angel, the prettiest angel up there in heaven, and, you know, he just got too big for himself, and, of course, he became a fallen angel, but that's nor here nor there. Um, but I wonder, is that the reason why Portia called herself Unfollowing Simon, after she, uh, actually looked at the whole episode of her Portia Family Matters, and she saw some unflattering things that he was saying about her, and she didn't like it. 
you know, just like she was crying on the bed to her mom on that one scene, saying, you know, Simon don't understand, you know, I know about media and how media can twist things and he don't and just that and that. I'm like, girl, you don't know too much about media and swinging it either because at the time we're looking at it, they got you looking in a piss poor way, Portia. They got you looking in a piss poor way on all the platforms you have been on. Even in your videos, you kind of look like a little hoe running around now trying to chase a man to get him to come back to you and all that. I think it was called Flatline. That wasn't too uh, interesting either. And uh, it just is what it is. Continue being a background singer. Continue being an actress or something. Uh, but I, th I think you do a lot better with without doing ratchet television show. But if you and Nene want to keep chasing this pipe dream and try to make this quick, fast money and make yourself look all kinds of horrible out here, go on to the Zeus Network. Okay, go on to the Zeus Network. Don't look up Bravo no more because they done did their damage. And, you know, like I said, um, basically Fallon was sitting up there throwing tea. I don't think she was throwing lies because she didn't want Simon no more. And she could care less who has Simon because she knows Simon is not built on the foundation of wealth that he says he is. I mean, she first had knowledge. She should know. She should know. And she should know what's least and what's not least. Okay? So, uh, and then the family dynamics or his family dynamics. You know, he married her, put her out there. Uh, enticing her to be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta or him wanting to get on it to do what I don't know because he didn't come out in a flattering uh, way and he didn't come out in a likable way uh, he was just like a servant or somebody passing by that we may have caught a glimpse but you know he was an extra or something to that degree but you know he just don't uh, I don't know it's like maybe he missed his calling and he's trying to catch it up uh, with the younger group now thinking he can do some things but no it, 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 now Shamir and her husband that's likable you can tell there's love there Portia and Simon that's just like greed let's get the money and that's it and PJ should not be brought up in a uh, a situation such as that. You know what I'm saying? And boy, um, Fallon, Fallon is definitely younger than Portia. And she's living her best life. You can see she rebirthed herself in a sense. When she has got rid of the toll. The, 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 we call it the ball and chain. The, the man that was holding her down. The man that was trying to use her beauty. Her connections. What little they may have been in the industry or, or how large they have been you know he got his first uh taste of being uh, into in, you know being shown as entertainment for us but basically he was uh, a train wreck uh, a titanic sinking in the ocean with nobody coming to save us uh, type of persona he gave me I'm like did he that, Fallon, did he say she looked like Cujo girl? Go on and tell us. Go on, you should go on and tell us the whole deal. Are we talking about a little cute little puff around here? Or are we talking about Cujo, the head with rabbit? I want to know. Because, see, um, Fallon lived that life, Portia. She, went, she was with Gabadia and that, uh, that uh, extensive traveling on his little jet or, you know, whatever. She's done it. Did. She's done it. Do it. Do it. And, and done it. Did it. And she moved on. Now you're coming out talking about well. Thank you for the Jasmine brand. Go check her out. Very good blogger over there. Podcast um, lady going on writing journals and, and writing commentary. And being seen on Real Housewives of Atlanta. You know when they do what the bloggers are saying out there. She's been focused on them many many times. So she's a credible source. Uh, but yeah. It, it just don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? Fallon ain't got nothing on you and you ain't got nothing on Fallon. All they Fallon got is a little bit more common sense that she ain't gonna stay in no mess. Which is you trying to enter in and she's trying to give you heads up that no nah, baby, you got the looks, you got the connections, go for somebody else. Cause this nut he only likes young women to use as trophy wise. You probably don't even like to get down with him in the bed. You know what I'm saying? He just too old. We just look too old like he can't get it together. Unless he get real drunk and then he think he can get his manhood on but then it's short lived. You get what I'm saying? Ah, oh, when it's time to show and prove. But even Porsche, I noticed on uh, that I think last scene or last episode she was mad at Dennis bringing somebody and they went back to the hotel and the first thing he grabbed meaning him is that damn cigar and it's like she wanted to say you finna smoke again like damn 
I, I saw that frustration on her face. I was like, girl, see, that's what I'm talking about. You need to get in his ass. We need to see you having a voice and, and not being like your mama. Just want a man that of riches or you think got riches gonna sit there and tell you in everything. Everything he got is a damn cigar in his mouth. Like, he can't put nothing in his cig. I mean, I know his breath got to be saying some things. You know what I'm saying? Because people that smoke a lot, they get that glaze on their teeth. And it just don't look right. You know, it just look nasty. Even though they probably try to, you know, brush their their teeth and all this kind of stuff but no he killing himself slowly and he's enjoying it so i'm like why should you get that secondhand smoke you and pj man please dennis where you at where you at we need some we need some patrolling over him we need some patrolling because the only thing that man look like he want to do is play like peter thomas going around now you know hanging out with the women sexing drinking smoking and and doing absolutely nothing but he ain't trying to raise no kids either I think Peter Thomas's kids are all grown, okay? Anything, he had to say, okay, I can't act this way around my grandchildren because we don't want to get them no unsightly uh, digs to try to uh, portray me later on in life and it don't work out for them, you know what I'm saying? So, we're going to try to keep it clean and kosher. But this joke right here, he going to smoke around the kid, drink around the kid, party around the kid. Like, what kind of what kind of examples he setting? The only example was said it was probably when he had Fallon in his life. And he just, that's how he think that's sexy. That ain't sex. I wish somebody just take it and, and snatch it out of his hand and throw it down and say, man, get a life. You too old to be acting like this. Get, get in your business somewhere. Let us come see you. Do do one of them father things where the kids got to come watch you do actual work and who you get down with. I'm like, cheetah, 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 cheetah. Okay. And I don't know why he wear that darn shirt. It look like an upside down cross. He give me some crease. I'm telling you, the man give me a crease. They ain't sitting up there laying Elizabeth trying to uh, donate to the Jose Wills. What did he give? 5,000 portion. He should have been given 20, well, just say 1 million. He should have gave it 1 million. With the holidays coming up and all like that, Elizabeth and the organization could have definitely used it. But I know he didn't give her no 1 million. I know he did. Because you didn't say nothing about it. You didn't say too much about it. Okay. And he was just using your family to try to creep into their legacy of non-civil rights and non-violence and and being a, a very good advocate for minority people so he was just trying to play on that but he went about nothing he did the check cash that's what i want to know did the check get processed did it come back with sufficient funds and not insufficient funds let us know portion that's what i need to know and i'm pretty sure you can put that shit in your book stuff that we need to know you don't tell us we got to find out through other bloggers people leaking stuff around you sitting at your table leaking stuff getting paid behind your back that's what I'm talking about Porsche. We got to find out from them, not from you. And you sitting up here looking like a hoe on a throne, like uh, Jezebel or uh, Bathsheba. Uh, I guess that's a whole hot mess, you know what I'm saying? But we don't want to go beat you with the Bible. You're getting beat in the, in the public opinion already, okay? But this woman don't been down now. She don't had the wed. She don't ha- and she probably didn't have three. So what makes you think you need three weddings? She failed with this man in one marriage. She didn't have two other ones. Just say she failed two or three more times she got the hell on okay and she got some exoticness about herself all right i think her mama's half asian half something she got something else in her too but she considered herself black and you know once they say you got one drop of black blood in your your system from a black man you you black or a black woman you black honey but i don't think she was trying to portray herself or anything else other than black but it is what it is you know some of us get high class and we forget about just the one strand that's gonna make us dominant and meaning black they gotta go say oh i'm irish i'm um uh uh what do you call it i got some sweet in my blood uh you know anything but african anything but you know anything dealing from the motherland they gotta be everything else they gotta be canadian they gotta be uh european which we're all european and some form of fashion we're, we're not just one dominant race anymore but it just is what it is you know what i'm saying it just is what it is but yeah portion she's gonna be a queen and he don't promise all these pipe dreams or maybe she don't promise herself you know what i'm saying she got this alter ego going on that because she the princess the queen and the madame i i don't know i don't know okay she want to be a lady in the streets and a freak in the bed and, and probably something else i don't know but i'm like <laughs> These two men are sat and talked to you, talked about you and all that. 
having breakfast and then he's sitting up there telling Dennis well if it don't work out I always have a moving company on standby to go on and put them wherever they need to be and deliver their stuff accordingly I'm like what kind of bullshit is that you know what I'm saying but I'm like you know you had it kind of messed up on Dennis and he didn't you know he's like okay this who she wanted i'm gonna fall back but i, I really want to put my hands around his neck but i'm sure she want to put her hand around his neck now calling her a dog which one did he call her y'all a terrier uh uh hell i came uh, a schnauzer uh what kind of dog did he call because you know some of these dogs are like very they cost a very pretty penny now was he calling her a tramp no lady in the trap you remember that one uh was he calling her cujo i mean fallon you dropped the t but you didn't give us the category of dogs he was talking about girl you didn't give us the category and for me my curiosity is at high peak wants to know <laughs> really want to know what did he call her what type of hoe oh okay i'm just saying anyway but that's all i had y'all i wanted to get y'all feelings on what y'all feel about Portia still trying to chase a man and want to be uh his wife and he going around him behind closed scene calling her a dog and everything else that we don't know about if we could only get to the right people that hang around him they probably could drop some tea some terrible tea on this joker because he got a mouth like a woman he love to keep it open and everything that's coming out of it ain't nothing but a bunch of gossip now you know true men they gonna say one or two things then they gone and on to the next conquest they probably talking about other women or other business moves or toys that trinkets that they trying to get like the next Madden coming out or something to that degree they ain't up here trying to be spotlighted on no tv and flaunt shit they got because they might be running from the rs like regular people they don't want their shit on on tv so they can say oh the rs said, well we did we saw this clip oh you you been on this show and it showed us that asset that asset that now see uh-uh small black people just small people in general we ain't got time to be putting out shit on business right when they had that creep or uh, Hollywood cribs or celebrity cribs shit like that they were telling on themselves that was giving them the carte blanche for the IRS or any other agency that wanted to take stuff for you take stuff for you when you weren't paying your taxes they already got it they already got it hooked up they said you got this 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 it was known to be at this address but we know you got this 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 because we don't checked it out we know you the owner of that we want it we gonna come get it you might well just hold it go on and present it to us have it out of available for pickup for repossession because we need our money so when you're going out like a character like this showing everything and, and all that you don't need to be folk like that you need to be with folk that hush hush you know what i'm saying make like you're a part of the mafia or whatever you don't want nobody knowing nothing about you but what you want to show them and if they get too close you might need to be investigating them because they might be working for the man being an rs man <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying keep your business to yourself and you ain't even got to keep your friends or your enemies close to you at all just don't, don't keep nobody keep the Lord and all your endeavors whether they be good or bad between you and him because anybody else will fuck you up they will get you behind bars and you'll be serving time or you'll be in the graveyard okay I'm just saying you ain't got no friends out here <laughs> not when you trying to do something that ain't illegal okay remember that people remember only trust God and how far you think you can get away with it but don't be telling people your business because they will show up and show out on your mind and you're either going to be in the graveyard or you're going to be behind bars pressing for time writing books getting degrees all in the comfort of the jail cell there's only a certain amount of feet you can go in and out and they get to tell you when you can go to the bathroom as well or you know time to get some stretch time or time to eat just like when you were little your parents got you on lockdown okay but i hope it was a cute dog he was calling her and, and, and or an intelligent breed of a dog you know what i'm saying i hope he ain't just try to say she wasn't no mutts on the street because you know she don't look like one but for him to even express to his wife or girlfriend at the time i think it was his wife because he was trying to get on this show he's very interested in getting on this show and he called Portia a dog think that's a mess i wish a eagle would you talking about so many frying pans and my kitchen will be clear because it'll all be on their head or whoever had called me a dog okay every little piece of silverware plates jars buckets 
everything I could find. Okay. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Hope y'all like it. Love it. Gotta have more. Remember, let's grow this year. Let's grow, grow, grow. And the way you can help me when you come over to the house when you ring that doorbell, that's a like. Okay? When you leave, get your shoes. You ready to go because you're tired of me or whatever. Uh, hit that subscribe. You know, when you open up the door, that subscribe button. And share my videos. Until next time, guys. Y'all be blessed. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.